Unfortunately, the popularity of the MBTI is proving to be its downfall. With so much type misinformation being published almost everywhere, particularly here on YouTube, and despite many competing tests now being offered, CPP, the publishers of the MBTI, continue to build on an outdated indicator while still graduating inadequately trained practitioners operating under a hopelessly negligent code of ethics. The MBTI's effective accuracy is only getting worse. If you know a little or nothing about type, the MBTI or cognitive functions, the Myers-Briggs type indicator will still reveal a reasonable result with about 70% accuracy. This figure drops closer to 50% for anyone who has any MBTI or psych type knowledge, since choosing the most ideologically desirable answer is both easy and increasingly common. Ultimately, more people are selecting what they want to be rather than discovering the psych type that they actually are. All indicators, including the MBTI, can only ever reveal the subject's understanding of the questions multiplied by their prejudiced evaluation of their subjective values. Very few people are able to differentiate between who they are and who they want to be. MBTI practitioners are not trained to identify cognitive functions, with many believing it is inappropriate to intervene in the indicator's determination. This is the greatest folly besetting the MBTI as a tool for social good. Worse, when people are in stress, as many are when they investigate their psych type, we choose answers that describe who we wish we were or who we think we need to be, instead of who we actually are. But knowing who we really are is the most powerful, even critical starting point towards personal growth and overcoming many of life's challenges. Truth be known, all psych type indicators are always, at best, only ever an indicator. Skilled moderation has always been required. No wonder so few people actually know their correct psych type, with even fewer understanding the theory underlying that psych type. In our practice, during the feedback session, we always discuss the answers given to the indicator with our clients, especially when any dichotomy is not clearly revealed. To a properly trained practitioner, this is the most important part in administering a psychometric test, since it not only clarifies any misconceptions the client may have experienced during the test, but it also enables the practitioner to fully report exactly what the results reveal beyond the answers. Only a practitioner trained to verify the person's correct psych type and who understands what an oops or out of proper sequence answer actually means can provide this service. In order to accurately assess a person's psych type, a practitioner should take into account a great many factors, including that person's sex, gender, sexuality, age, life experience, degree of personal development, known opportunities and impediments for personal growth, and current life circumstances. The relevance of these factors are expanded upon and discussed at length in our advanced course, What Type Are You? Interpersonality both practice and train other practitioners in the skill of verified psych type. So in summary, psych type is the science of Jung's cognitive functions which underpin the MBTI and all other type or temperament-based descriptors.